Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mina Goro reporting for Bustle News. And I'm Caroline Dittree. Tonight, we go behind the scenes to uncover our top story, to explain the outrage and violence that has erupted in our church's hallways. This following a deacon's testimony, which insinuated that Kiramina was in fact serving Lahma during the Lent fast. That's right, Mina. The drama unfolded when a deacon was walking through Kiramina right before the fourth Sunday of Lent, when he was overwhelmed by the smell of Lahma, which he claims was originating from the kitchen. The deacon proceeded to enter the kitchen where the incident occurred. According to the deacon's account, the smell was too powerful to resist and ultimately caused him to break his fast. While there are still serious implications as to why Kiramina might have been preparing Lahma during the Lent, we have an exclusive interview with the remorseful deacon. Basila News has concealed the young man's identity to protect him from ridicule of his fellow deacons. Uh, I don't know how this happened to me. Uh, uncle told me to get something from the Urban room. I'm, I'm, I'm walking by, I, I pass by Kiromina, and then the, the next thing you know is just like, I, I, I broke my fast. I don't know what happened, I broke my fast. I can't believe I did this. Okay, please, no, 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 don't tell Abuna. Nobody, nobody mentions this to Abuna, okay? That's just disgusting, Caroline. It sure is, Mina. Requests for interviews were initially turned down, but we are now joined by Mr. Mark Wiesa, spokesperson for Kiromina. Good evening, Mark. Hey, Caroline and Mina. Thanks for giving me this opportunity on BNN today to defend Kiramina's reputation. Here, we only use soy meat, so I don't know where these crazy allegations are coming from. Well then, how else would you explain several eyewitnesses who saw this young deacon with a satisfied look on his face that only a person who had just had lahma could possibly have? What? No, 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 Caroline, listen. Here at Kiramina, we only use the finest and freshest ingredients, okay? Lately, we've been fine-tuning our soy meat. So, maybe, <laughs> because it was so good, he thought it was real meat. That's not my fault. We want to give more options to the kids, other than Fulu and Tameya. How do you then explain several eyewitness accounts that you were spotted walking into Kiromina with several bags from M&M &M meat shops on the night of the alleged incident? Would you care to comment? <laughs> I, I don't know anything about no meat. Uh, Kiromina is an honest restaurant. We're not going to serve meat during the fast, and why is this deacon outside of the mass with his Tonya on? You know what, the story has way too many holes, okay? Uh, hey boss, yeah. we discussed the bill for the, uh, the lahma we ordered last week, what do I do with it? Well, that was interesting. Sure was. And that concludes BNN News for this evening. I'm Caroline Madrid, and on behalf of Nina Gobriel and myself, we thank you for joining us this evening. Have a good night, my OS.